I feel like talking about some stupid shit I saw on Facebook, so I'm going to, and you're just going to have to put up with it. Here we go. First stupid image. Who is actually telling you that you have to change your traditions? Are they actually telling you that they have to change your traditions, or are they just saying, hey, can we get some acknowledgement of our traditions? Assuming this came from someone in the Americas, i.e., why are you forcing us to change our traditions, do you suppose that the aboriginals might have something to say here, given what the Europeans did when they arrived on this continent? And you know, maybe your traditions actually are offensive. Have you ever stopped to consider that? But it's a tradition, yeah? There are some islands off the coast of Iceland where they have a yearly tradition of rounding up and killing whales. I think that should stop, because I find that very, very offensive. And just because it's a tra tradition, doesn't mean it should continue. Look up Argument from Tradition. The stupid thing is that my mother actually commented on that in a positive manner. <sighs> Mom, don't do that to me. The next one is from my current favorite whipping post on Facebook. This is posted by a cousin's girlfriend. Vegan, and very, 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 very militant about it. Now, the, the, the veganism doesn't bother me so much. But when you start to post shit like this, then I start to get a bit of an aneurysm. Let's use the same logic as this image, shall we? I have a friend. I'm not going to reveal the details of her name. She has a PhD in biochemistry from Oxford. She vaccinates her kids because, you know what, biochemistry is actually more closely related to vaccines than neuroscience. Are you going to tell me that she's stupid? Or are you going to believe Miss Balak because she's a fucking celebrity? Only in an age where people have forgotten about the ravages of polio and even measles, which is fucking making a comeback, so is polio for that matter, can people actually believe this shit? Nothing gets me more irritated than anti-vaxxers. Except maybe this next image. This guy goes by the name of Chris Wark. He claims to have adop adopted a vegan diet and that that cured his cancer. Bullshit. He went in, had an operation. It removed the tumor. I'll link to the website debunking this down below, but you see, without further chemo treatment, he still had a 30 to about 64% chance of surviving. You're not going to convince me that just his diet alone cured the fucking cancer. Even making no freaking changes. 30 to 64%. Take chemo, it goes up by about 20, 25% in both cases. So it goes up to about 55% or even up to 85, 90% chance of survival. I'm sorry, 30%, even without treatment, is still a recognizably significant number of people. Not saying at all that diet can't affect cancers. Let me be perfectly clear there. Him saying that his diet cured the cancer after he had it, and after the tumor was removed, is what I am calling bullshit on. Especially, and here's the kicker, this is the part that really pisses me off. He charges about $100 for an hour-long session or $175 for a two-hour session on how to tackle this stuff in a natural manner. I'm sorry. He's a charlatan, and he's just after your money. All right. I've vented enough. Talk to you later, folks.